So apparently I'm breaking down why Spider-Man PS4 is related to the new Avengers game. So hey everyone, welcome back to Film Form Studios and another episode of So Apparently. This has been a very fun series to do so far, you know, with my reaction of Special by Simple Creatures, I'm breaking down the main trailer for uh, the new Avengers game that's coming out. Now, on the topic of the new Avengers game, I mentioned a few reasons why it could be tied in to Marvel Spider-Man PS4. And I, I, I just wanted to go over in more detail some more reasons why it could be linked. Because I've done a bit of digging and I've found a bit more things and with a bit of help from uh, something Nathan said earlier last week. Um, you know, it gave me a bit of a, he, he gave me a bit of an idea to do a video on it. So I'm going to go through that now. So let's, let's get on with it. Right, so guys, one of the first points I want to make, if you remember, the first thing I said, the first thing I said when it came to the Avengers trailer was the fact that it looks like it's taking place in San Francisco, which it is. So, obviously that was linked to the whole Avengers Tower thing and Spider-Man saying in Spider-Man PS4 that they've gone to the West Coast. Now, I also remember saying that I don't know when Spider-Man takes place, right? So that, that could make it awkward for them to tie in. But what if, right, and this is where I get my evidence from. Like, I'll tell you where I get my evidence from in a bit, right? I'm going a bit ahead of myself now, I'm excited. But when you take a picture of uh, Avengers Tower, not only does he say that they've gone to the West Coast, they also say, no, Spider-Man also says, they're never around to use it. So, like, why have they got this massive tower if they're never around to use it, right? Now, that implies that the Avengers haven't been back to New York in a long time. So he's like, oh, they built this massive tower here, they went to the West Coast, and they just haven't been back. They just haven't used it. Like, why is it there? No one's using it. And then it clicked. I was like, yo, there's, there's a five year gap in Avengers, right? A five year gap where they, they've just stopped being the Avengers because obviously you got the death of Captain America and the death of all those people from the helicarrier crashing in the trailer. Um, and they kind of stop being the Avengers because they're outlawed and they can't do their job without getting like, you know, warnings to be like arrested and stuff so like they're most wanted like they're more wanted than criminals so that's the thing so what got me thinking was is if avengers takes place in 2020 when it come when when it's due to come out what if the events of a day actually take because we know that the events of A-Day actually take place before the before the five year jump. So what if the bit where they've quit being um, Avengers takes place in 2020. The bit where A-Day is on is back in 2015, five years earlier. Now, this also makes sense to tie it into Spider-Man PS4. Because if you remember me saying, in the breakdown of the trailer, Taskmaster, well, there was a bad guy in there, in the Avengers trailer, that looked very much like our boy Taskmaster, and I was saying, I really hope it's not him. Well, now I've changed my mind on that, I really hope that it is, because it all adds up. I've been watching IGN, uh, IGN, um like podcasts and if you want to say or like you know like um you know, like interviews and stuff like that and they've been saying oh yeah we've seen the private gameplay booth like we've seen the 25 minutes of gameplay and everyone IGN, GameSpot, every game reviewer thing they all 
uh, referring to that skull, that skull face looking character as Taskmaster. Now, I think this is actually possible that it could be Taskmaster if A Day takes place in 2015. Because if A Day takes place in 2015 and Spider Man takes place in 2018, then Taskmaster then has an, a three year gap to upgrade his suit. And that's why we see the more armoured Taskmaster in Spider-Man PS4. So he's probably like, oh man, I fought the Avengers, yeah? And they were bad man, rough as hell, bro. They beat me to a pulp, you know? So I think he's gone and been like, nah, I need to armour up a bit more. And he's done that. And by the time he's come to Spider-Man PS4, that's why he's got all that armour. And he's looking like a samurai and he's looking like a badass. So... That's my theory on Taskmaster being in there and why he could link up. And as I said, they haven't been around to use Avengers Tower in a long time. So, well, that's what's implied anyway. As he says, they're never around to use it when you take a picture. So it's like as if they, he's been like, oh, they just up and went. And they haven't come back. They were meant to come back, but they, they haven't come back. So... That's, that's, that's my theory on how it's linked, really. Like, you know, and also with the PS4 exclusive content, that makes sense. But it makes sense to, like, you know, Spider-Man Spider -Man takes place in 2018, and then real time two years, because by the time uh, Avengers come out, it would have almost been two years between the release of Spider-Man PS4 and this Avengers game. By the time it comes around to that, it'll be real time two years since Spider-Man. So he could be like uh, 25 by the time we see him in Avengers, if we do see him in Avengers. So yeah, that that's a much shorter so apparently than uh, usual. So um, I uh, do apologise for that, but I just wanted to get out my thoughts really on um on the the Spider-Man and the Spider-Man and Avengers link. So, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you'll support my theory and think it's cool, and think, uh, you know, and, and, and hope to see Spider-Man later in in the, uh, in the bloody Avengers game, because as we know, it's a live game, it, it's getting updated, you know, all the time, and they're all going to be completely free, which is absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, leave your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, subscribe to Film Form Studios and give this video a like. So thank you very much. Bye guys.